This is One on One. I am honored to introduce uh, Jennifer Little, who is a drama teacher at Franklin High School and creator of a, sh of a series called Shadows. Right. Fascinating stuff. You're going to be seeing a clip in just a little bit from our partners um, at the NJEA, New Jersey Education Association, part of our classroom close-up series that they are doing. By the way, real quick, Shadows stands for? It's the name of our anti-bullying device drama. It's sort of an imagery that the students came up with. It's evocative of the fact that shadows is an underground, bullying is an underground problem. The victim's faces aren't seen, the bully's faces aren't seen, everybody mm. sort of hides the problem away. So one of the students reflected about how it's always in the shadows. Well, this video is a powerful video from the Classroom Close-Up series that's seen right here with our partners at uh, NJTV. Let's take a look at the video and then we'll talk to Jennifer right after that. thrown at me, words slung, like bullets. This play is unlike most other high school performances. You. I heard you were talking about me. The lines are based on actual research the students conducted on bullying. You were talking about me and now I want to fight. Oh fight me over something I didn't even say? No, I'm not fighting anyone. Shadows is an extracurricular activity. We meet after school, but the majority of the students who are involved are part of my drama classes. We had um, multiple discussions about applied theater, so they were familiar with the art form, and it's a very different art form than traditional theater. When I go to school, it's like a hellhole. The first person I played People was in a spoken word piece, and, and they were basically talking about how the internet affected them in bullying. I feel a similarity between the spoken word piece in my life because throughout my entire elementary school year I was bullied and I also was a bully. So last night I was a dance class. Wait, and you dance? <laughs> yeah, why? Like ballet? Well, not just The play ballet. goes through different um, kind of through different types of bullying, shows examples of bullying, um, shows what the victims are feeling as well as the bullies, and kind of brings more personal attention to it rather than kind of the overplayed don't bully aspects. One student wrote about the fact that she felt that bullying was in the shadows, that it was a shadow activity, that we never really see the faces, we never really see the, hear the problems because it's a very underground activity, which is true. It was such a powerful word and such a powerful image that the students and I all agreed that we would adopt that term as the title of the show. They pushed me around, they called me gay. I'm not gay. When I am playing Carl Joseph Walker Hoover, I am playing someone who has tried everything. He's tried talking to the kids to try and reason with them. He's done all that he can possibly think of, and nothing's helping. When that day comes that they just drive him over the edge, he thinks that his only option is to kill himself. I was down to my next and final move. I am trying to um, pursue his helplessness. He's not as much angry, as much sad or distraught as he is helpless. How much impact? This piece has had a much bigger impact than I think we realized it was going to. When we started this journey, we went to the administration with this idea that drama and theater could add more value than just entertainment and we brought a list of issues that the students felt was important. And one of them was bullying and violence. And the administration thought that was a great idea. This was before Tyler Clemente committed suicide. This right. was before the new anti-bullying legislation. And the students spent all summer creating these questions and creating these surveys. And they did all of this work and they created this piece. And when we first did it, the first group of people we did it for were the teachers and administration at our own high school. And there was dead silence at the end of it. I mean, dead silence, and we were like, okay, maybe it's really bad. We didn't know. Um, you get so close. And then we just got a flood 
of emails and people stopping the students in the hall and people crying, calling me and crying on the phone about how they didn't realize and they hadn't seen and they hadn't paid enough attention and they didn't realize what was going on underneath their own noses. Since then, we have performed it for over 4,000 people districts, teachers at professional development, the uh, New Jersey School Board Association. Right. The impact has been overwhelming. The kids, like Nick, we just saw this young man at the end of the mm -hmm. uh, clip. Nick and the others, what do they get out of it? They get, they get a number of things. Um, they get, first of all, a sense that their voices get hurt. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes in education, we talk to the students or at the students. This is their voice. This was their baby. Um, they created it. We just acted as facilitators. We stayed out of their way and let them take this journey. So it was really their project. But more importantly, they feel like they're the voices of people who are afraid to speak. So when they speak about doing this project, oftentimes they'll say they feel this burden of responsibility, mm. that they're actually the voices of the victims who are afraid to tell the truth. And when they talk about doing the show, they have these students come up to them from other districts, just come up to them and hug them and say, I was bullied for six years. Thank you so much. So they feel this, it's a different type of rush than you get from doing regular theater. They just feel this tremendous sense of empowerment from this. Now for you, as a professional who has extensive experience in theater, Mm -hmm. Television, mm -hmm. you know, you yeah. stage, screen, the whole bit. Yeah. What's it like for you? Because you know what it's like to be involved in a different kind right. of uh, performing. What's it like for you to be a part of this? This to me is much more impactful, to be honest. I mean, I've been part of, as you said, the commercial scene. And I've been part of tremendously successful commercial right. endeavors. But when you see some of these kids faces like um, we had this young man come up to us at one event an awkward young man skinny kid big huge backpack was bigger than he was and he came up and he said to the kids I've been bullied ever since I got to this district and he started crying and he just stayed and talked with the kids for like a half hour after the show and you know that you're you're touching people and this to me is is a much more I keep using the word empowering, but I can't think of another word. It's, it, it feels like it has value. Jennifer is uh, one of the many educators we recognize. Jennifer Little, drama teacher at Franklin High School, creator of Shadows. I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful work. Thank you so much. One on one will continue right after this. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, working for great public schools for every child. Wells Fargo, the law firm of Gibbons PC, PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities, and by Barnabas Health. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com, everything Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.